St. Jamestown is in the early stages of being revitalized. The overall goal is to bring significant improvements to the public and open spaces. One of these public spaces is the St. Jamestown West Park, located on the east side of Sherburn Street, just south of Howard Street. It is a key thoroughfare and gateway to the St. Jamestown area. The park, which measures 4,200 square meters, by comparison, Dundas Square is 3,800 square meters, and a soccer field is 4,050 square meters. It is used by residents as a place to relax, to enjoy nature, to sit and eat a meal, to spend time with a friend, or to be alone, to walk a pet as a children's playtime area and to engage in sports and games activities. In densely populated areas where the majority of residents live in high-rise dwellings, public spaces are a vital and integral component to the health and well-being of those neighborhoods. Research in many different localities and over many years has determined that public spaces offer people much needed opportunities for sociality and community building. These considerations become all that much more important in a place like St. Jamestown, where the majority of residents is comprised of immigrants, visible minorities, a high presence of children under 15 and single parent households, a high number of children nine years of age, a high percentage of people 65 years and older. To better assess just what the community needs in the way of a park, the team charged with developing a plan is made up of the City of Toronto, DTH uh, Design Team, LUR Public Engagement, and the Nipissing Con Consulting Indigenous Engagement Group. They implemented a series of community outreach initiatives, which included setting up and working with community ambassadors, building community meetings, online surveys, uh, indigenous engagement, school workshops, and engagement with youth. The outcome of these consultations identified new areas of interest in terms of the new park, open grass and lawn areas, seating areas, improvements to the garden. Additionally, drinking fountains, picnic areas and bicycle parking were discussed. Because of the high percentage of youth in the area, a youth access group was created that comprised of individuals aged 15 to 24 from the Wellesley Youth Council, Jarvis Collegiate, youth from St. Jamestown Community Ambassadors and some second year University of Toronto Faculty of Architecture, Landscape and Design students. Bob Galwas from the Nipissing Consulting Indigenous Engagement Group coordinated an Indigenous Community Sharing Meeting on February 18th, 2021 that had representation from First Nations, Métis, Haudenosaunee, and Anishinaabe people who came together to reflect upon what the importance of Indigenous placekeeping would look like in the park. Retaining the natural elements, ensuring the creative elements from the Indigenous perspective, symbolism, Indigenous planting, and the teachings that go with that, elders' needs and access, referencing the traditional pathways that were there long before we were, and finally that animals and birds be a part of that picture. Observations from the site identify the area as having a lot of seating, which would be carried forward into the new designs. Additionally, existing circulation patterns and entry points were incorporated with new and enhanced future pathways. Another set of dimensions acknowledges the different edges of the park and how their exposure to the physical location of, of the park influences how the park is used. Sherburn Street, which is a major street, has commercial influence. Bleecker Street, uh, a neighborhood-friendly edge, and Howard Street, 
has both a commercial and natural edge. Based on present analysis, a picture of the potential uses began to emerge. The natural edge on Howard Street could be a place for relaxation. The Bleecker Street area, a place to meet and congregate with friends and neighbors. In the center, there is an opportunity to create a community space with, a various, with various elements of play. With the new development at the corner of Sherburn Street and Howard, there is a further option to locate a cafe amongst the larger trees scheduled for planting in that area. Several types of designs were proposed, each with a unique focus, one envisioning the park as more of a green refuge, while the other one focused on the park as a place of interconnecting pathways. The concept design for the park as a green refuge prioritizes a mix of lawns, trees, and planters, as well as uh, play areas and a multi-use platform for concerts and presentations. The concept design for the paths model focuses more on how people use the park as both a gateway and a meeting place. Fewer lawns give way to a central plaza that becomes the activity hub around which all other elements fan out from and recognizes one of the key aspects of the park which is as a gateway and a crossroads for people moving from one area and to another, uh, residential to commercial and recreational. Landscape architects have a wide range of de design tools to, that combine natural and built forms to enhance the function and experience of public spaces. From including something as specific as a skateboarding area for youth to the installation of outdoor lighting elements that boost safety and security. Blending form with function in design and application is always at the heart of architectural projects. But with a project like a public park in a neighborhood as diverse as St. Jamestown, it becomes quite a bit more crucial to get it right. Rebecca Baird, a Niwa Cree Métis artist known for her work dealing with themes of indigenous history, identity and culture, has been involved in creating an artistic element in the park. Some of her previous work has incorporated images of natural forms, birds, animals and plants, and the spiritual teachings into uh, contemporary settings. Ideally, the park serves as a place of refuge to many area residents, and concepts for redesigning the park must keep this notion in mind when implementing new or different features. New pathways would have the benefit of putting, of, uh, would have the benefit of guiding park users more purposefully to and from each of the designated areas, such as seating areas, relaxation areas, plazas, and play areas. In the words of Jane Jacobs, cities have the capability of providing something for everybody, only because and only when they are created by everybody. To stay informed about the next steps, please visit www.toronto.com ca backslash st jamestown please do not forget to like comment and share to our channel follow us on all our social media platforms and for more information please check out our website